What is up, you guys? Today is a pretty gloomy day. I'm pretty sure there's a hurricane coming through right now. It's not technically in South Carolina where we are. I think it's in Florida, but we're getting like the northern part of it. So it's just been really rainy and gloomy all day. So today's video is going to be another trip to the Goodwill Bins, also known as the Goodwill Outlet. And if you guys are new to the channel, this is essentially a store where Goodwill sends all of its reject and surplus items that they can't sell in the regular store to give them one last chance at selling to a domestic end consumer here before they are disposed of. Sometimes Goodwill claims that all the leftover stuff is shipped overseas, but a lot of the leftover stuff is just garbage. So I'm sure most of it ends up in the dump eventually. So Haley and I get in there, try to dig through this stuff, looking for anything that still has value that we could clean up and sell and pass on to another end user and kind of extend the life of that item while making a little bit of money for ourselves. So that's always fun. So stick around. I think we found a lot of good stuff in today's video. You guys should enjoy it. The fossil. Fossil messenger bag. Stuck in here. Yeah. It's kind of distressed, but some people like that. Some more tennis rackets. We found that really good one the other day. Maybe we'll just get them and look them up later. I don't want to spend time looking at it now. Okay. Got some shoes. Good morning. How are you feeling? Good. How are you? I don't want to take over no, from no. you. Come on in. <laughs> Thank you. gave up on this bin because I thought it was just picture frames and then we got two hand painted acrylic floral paintings. L. Johnson. These are beautiful. I don't want to get those. Slashes in my way. It's hard to value original paintings like that, but so you can get them for a dollar a piece. It's almost always worth it. So my toy bag. Flush, Clifford, Minion, Dinosaur, that's Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. No Groot. Cases, duvet covers, really pretty pattern. I've seen a uh, lavender clothesline. She sells stuff like this all the time. We keep wanting to move on to another bin, and then we keep finding more stuff in here. Tie dye kit, brand new sealed tie dye kit. That's kind of neat. Good activity for like homeschool kids or something. but a lot of this has the healing leather. Yep, see, there's that. Unfortunately, full coach, dirty. We'll still pick it up, though. 
so lightweight, why not? Down here. I think it's a bag of squishmallows. <laughs> or at least some squishmallows. A little dirty, but that's definitely a squish. That's definitely a squish. Let's see what else is in here. Cool supplies. Whoops. Cool snook sandals and buckets. Cigar box. That's actually kind of cool. Almost to the end here. There's a bunch of glass in here from all these picture frames. Just gotta be careful. Starbucks and Blurs or Yetis or anything. I think that'll do it. I just saw this squishmallow is ripped in the back. It also seems a little deflated, like it's missing some stuffing. So I'll pass on that one, but we will get this one. We got two more plush. This is a, a I don't know what it was. I thought it was just a dog, but it's on a tag of Luigi's Mansion. So some kind of Mario character. That's kind of cool. And then I'm getting this little hedgehog for Moe's because we haven't got him out. A new plush toy in a while. And speaking of those. So a very brief interruption in today's video to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Sunday's Food for Dogs, more specifically human grade food for dogs. I have Moe's out here to uh, try it out for us. Come here. He's actually been eating this stuff for about two weeks now and he absolutely loves it. I've already fed him breakfast today, which is why I'm not giving him a whole meal, but he has uh, tested out and he has given us 10 paws of approval. Sundays is made with real human grade food that's air dried. So not only is it super healthy for your dog, but it's also incredibly easy to store and serve. There's no refrigeration required. You just take it out of the bag and give it to your dog. When I say it's healthy, just take a look at this, uh, this ingredient list here. I mean, there's no fillers, there's no, chemicals or artificial anything that's just like literally just real food like you could you could eat this should i eat one i feel like i should eat one to <laughs> to put my uh, my money where my mouth is here i mean <laughs> it's not something i would eat all the time but it's not bad. If you guys have watched our channel, you know Mose is a fantastic dog. He's got great personality. He's got great energy, even though he is getting a little bit up there in age. And we just want to make sure we're doing everything we can as dog owners to make sure he's around for as long as possible. To get 50% off your first order, go to sundaysfordogs.com slash Harry or use code Harry at checkout, or just click the link in the description of the video down below. Thanks again to Sundays for Dogs for sponsoring today's video. You don't want this one, do you? I think I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay. I appreciate it. I always double take on these because I think it's uh, Hartman, but it's not. The Hartman is a great brand to look out for. Their stuff always does super well. Michael Kors. Oof, that is really dirty. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna pass on that. Not worth cleaning. I did pretty well in that bin. A couple stuff to clean. Uh, grab all of it today. It's a BMC with bags, but it does have lots of leather feeling. It's crazy. Someone must have just like kept that in a personal collection for a while, never using it. And then it's just so old, it falls apart. Get this Martin guitar case. Looks like it's for a baby. Baby Martin, but it's still good that. It's a very good brand of guitar. Looks like we got a maybe a salt and pepper shaker. Stuck on my here. Mm, made in Taiwan. Get this. I looked up all these tennis rackets. They're not really worth a ton of money, and some of them, like this one, the strings are messed up. This one's actually broken on the side. They're just all in kind of bad shape, so we're gonna pass on those. We got some golf clubs. Not great golf clubs, though. We do have one right here. I don't know the worth of this anymore. It's just a big Bertha Warbird from Flex. I think they're only gonna charge maybe like a dollar for each club. So I think I'm gonna grab that one. And let's see, anything else? Old Ben Hogan clubs. 
That's the only thing I see that I'm gonna grab. This is a cool bag. It's got some like staining on the front right here. Hopefully it would come off. This is a fossil and it's specifically some kind of world traveler bag. It's got Los Angeles on it. I think it's so specific that I feel like it would be worth picking up and trying to clean. Yeah, we'll throw that in. Do you remember when we went to um, Verano in Italy yeah. and they talked about the lace? I was thinking, I found that earlier and like, I was like, I'll think about it. You never know if like that's actually like that super nice lace that's that people definitely, spend. I mean, that one's definitely handmade because it's so tiny. Yeah. Well, and like they, they wouldn't frame it if it wasn't handmade. Yeah. It's so cool. And it really could be like a lot of money, but there's like no way to tell, you know? Yeah. I mean, you could take it out, I guess. So. Yeah. I don't know if that's worth it. Like all these like little nails that are like bent sideways, so you can't. Should I take a chance on it? If you want to, I'm going to. Over here, I found a bunch of a bunch of candles. Well, I also found this like leaf thing. It's like a it's like a pottery leaf thing. I think it's maybe a napkin holder, handmade napkin holder. Really interesting. And I found four brass candlesticks. I think I thought they were all different sizes, but I think. Maybe these two are the same size, and these two are a little bit shorter. And that one's kind of bent, I think. Maybe I'll just get these three, like a little lot of three that are different sizes. I'll try to get this. I just feel like if I put it in my bag, it'll break. Okay. Very gently. Oh, here's Kelty. Kelty a good brand? Oh, this is like a sleeping bag. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. It's kind of a book bag. Oh, now it's smart. Let's see if I can get this out here. There we go. I think we've done like a, um, a fanny pack of some sort of this, but this is like a big version. Needs some cleaning. I don't see any issues, like any holes or rips or anything. Yeah, take a chance. Anything interesting here? Looks like Lily Pulitzer, and it is. I wish I had a lid, though. 30 in Fabulous. It's a lid. But it looks like lit maybe to that. Yeah, I love that. I wonder what the lid would look like for that. I think I'll grab it. It's only going to be a couple bucks. We can also put this on the scale as glassware. Glassware is only um, 25 cents per pound as opposed to $1.89. So I think that actually definitely would be worth it. It's probably going to be like 50 cents at most. So I spent the last couple minutes digging in this palette right here. There are a lot of shoes that were together. So I was hoping to find uh, some pairs in here that we could flip. I think found a couple. This pair of uh, little boots here, they're just universal thread, which is just Target but I feel like it's fall, they're in great shape. Even at Target, these are probably like 30 or 40 bucks. So we'll pay two or $3 here, maybe get 15 for them. I got a pair of Jack Rogers that are in a Carolina Gamecock colorway. Obviously very used, but I think those will still sell. And then two pairs of Allbirds, like this little thick bottom, thick bottom pair here, men's 12. And then the classic like tree runner, or whatever these are called, men's eight, I believe. These used to be like super good, you know, 50, 60 bucks, and now they're like, I don't know, 20, 25 or so, but they're very lightweight. So it's still worth it at the bins. I have searched through these couple of rows right here. This is basically just like the hard goods over here. And then they put the clothes over here. I have searched through the hard goods a couple of times, but I'll venture over here and see what we can find. Got a really cool like kids Columbia right here, but it is ripped. Which is really unfortunate because I think this one's like reversible. Like you have the fleece on one side and then like the waterproof material on the other. But unfortunately, somebody can use that though because if they're just interested in the fleece side, it's still a very usable jacket. Oh, there's a hole in the front too. Oh well. Walk down here to find some more and this pair of hunter boots are just sitting here. I haven't sold a pair of hunter boots in a while, but these look to be in great shape. Really interesting pattern, kind of like a white white and black like paint splatter or something yeah those are awesome 
We occasionally do find hunter boots, but and not this interesting and not usually just sitting on top of a pile. Let's cut a pair of Kizik's here. I think it's Kizik. Or is that just, is that Kizik? I think it is Kizik. Just kind of found the match right here. Kizik is, uh, they're known for having these heels that are collapsible to help people that struggle to get their shoes on. So you can just kind of put your foot in there and slide it forward and it pops back up. Those are in great shape. Like a suede leather. That's crazy. Got the Grogu Star Wars slippers. Got the little kids Crocs. Might be some pretty good stuff in here if we keep digging a little bit. This golf club works really well to steer my bag. It's nice. A lot of these shoes are together today. Unlike last time we were here, we were really struggling finding matching pairs. Really, look at these hunter boots. Whoa, what a find. They're just sitting these on top. Physics, too. Yeah. I think Kizik might have changed their logo because I didn't yeah. seem familiar. Is this a blanket? These are a nice size too. Yeah, they're big and I've never seen leather. They're always yeah. like tennis shoes. Look at this granny square. Oh, cool. Oops, sorry. That's holes. awesome. Yeah, millions of holes. Like holes that aren't supposed to be there. It's hard to tell. Definitely going to get it though. Yeah. Oh, this is that... Um, Navigating? Is that? I don't know actually. It Made in India. This is just a little scarf, I guess. Made in India, cotton and rayon. Ben Goodman. There's some stinky stuff in here today, Josh. I haven't smelled nothing. By. There's like some stinky blanket somewhere. Well, maybe that'll keep people away so we can find the good stuff. The stinkier. The better. The stinkier, the better. You get those people that walk into the bins are like, I wonder what this is. And then they smell oh, it. They're yeah. like, oh, they this is smell disgusting. It and they're like, uh, they don't, they don't stay long enough to find the hunter boots and the Kizik shoes and all this like high quality stuff. We have two clothing items here. It's really neat. Need to breathe acoustic live, live tour t-shirt from Need size large. Love Need to Breathe. It's an awesome band. And then we got this little, uh, kind of like a vest, like a fall vest from Altered State size medium. Alter State isn't a very good brand, it's just a mall brand, but I think this is kind of an interesting item, especially this time of year. So we'll get it. Found this little like throw blanket thing. I was looking for a material tag. It feels very soft, maybe not quite as soft as cashmere, but definitely high quality soft material. I, wait, it looks like the material tag was cut off there, but on the other corner over here, it's got a little metal tag for Eddie Bauer. So it's an Eddie Bauer like ball theme throw. Very nice. Look at that. Okay. What are these? They feel super nice. That almost looks like a Tory perch. Nine and a half. I can't really see anything on the inside down here. Super nice. I'm gonna try to find the other one. If I can find the other one of this Ugg shoe, I might grab that too. It's like that newer, like newer style, little like sandal. I think the boots, the bottoms wore out pretty easily, but that one like is in really good condition. There's a whole bag right here. Anything in here? Those are sketchers, but they're like brand new. Like completely brand new. I'm gonna grab those style too not just like a typical sneaker so i found this i have been trying to put it back together for a while it's like a very rustic like a uh, big picture frame it has a glass insert but it was all separated i took it out to make sure it would fit in there and it wasn't broken it's a piece of paper that was like inserted in here it had original price of 49.99 i just think it's really cool it doesn't have a hanger on the back so we'd have to be a little creative with that but i think i'm gonna buy it for personal use i mean it's a 50 dollar frame I might even not wait, I might just charge us a flat price. Let me go ask. It looks like it's made out of pallet, but because it's got like the heat thing right there. So very rustic if you're into that. Will this be Wade? Five dollars? Okay. That's fair. I'm gonna put it up here so I don't break it. So five dollars for a fifty dollar frame. It's pretty good. Got another shacket here. Seems very low quality. Oh, it's old maybe. 2XL. Hmm. I get that. 
Old Navy, I normally avoid it, but these larger sizes like that actually tend to do decent. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we get, you know, 12 to $15 for this. Check this out. It's a backpack, and I was like, oh, it's got, it looks like Tom Nook on there from Animal Crossing. It does have a couple stains here and there, but it's like a, feels like a waterproof material, so it shouldn't be that hard to wash. But I was like, oh, it's a Nintendo Switch thing, so it's, it's, it's a backpack for a Nintendo Switch. I'll do this app. Goodwill only wanted six dollars originally. Maybe somebody just thought it was too dirty, but I think you spray that a little bit of OxyClean for the washing machine, it should come out looking brand new. Still looking for shoes, but I found this cute little mini dress. Plus two. Look how adorable that is. Super clean too. Definitely grabbing that. Here's sort of an interesting item. It's an old little tyke swing set. Somebody you know, it's probably been seating at the ropes. You know, that's all the way up. You can tie it in a tree or whatever. It's got the arm bar. It's just a little dirty. But stuff like this actually has decent value, like more than most people would think. It's from 1983, so it's the original. And if you look, I mean, 40 have sold in the last 90 days, like 30 bucks. Well, about 30 bucks. There's one that sold for 55. That one looks to be in a little bit better condition. So, like, anywhere from like as low as $25, as high as 55, like for that. Plus shipping, plus shipping on top. I mean, that's pretty good, better than most. I'm not gonna get it just because I don't really feel like cleaning it and all that stuff, but definitely an item to be on the lookout for us. We got a whole home goods bag filled with yarn here. Multiple skeins, probably at least 20, 25 skeins of yarn. And a Clemson, Clemson. I don't know, should I? That's not yarn, that's something else. I feel like I've tried to sell yarn in the past and it didn't really go well. But I know this stuff isn't cheap. I wouldn't call it expensive either though. I don't know, I'll probably pass on it. But if someone is a uh, knitter, whatever you do with yarn, that's a very good uh, sure. micro projector. That's a good deal. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Let me look this up. Yeah, new, they're like $25, so not really. Not really worth it here, mate. What in the world are these? This is the strangest thing. It has like a pop out on the side. It's like a sandal heely. But like, I don't even know how to get the wheels out. It is so strange. And you just like twist this, but nothing happens. I don't know. They're very heavy. They'd be pretty, pretty expensive. Need to look them up. A few more finds. Miss Jane over there gave us this really nice princess, like Disney princess wall hanging thing. It almost feels like a tablecloth. It's slightly more thicker. It's just like a big artwork of all these different Disney princesses. So that's kind of neat. I found an IKEA bag. Always gotta buy those. We only have like 20 of them. You can never have too many. And then our friend uh, Furman gave us a Disney coffee mug. I hear a little Mickey Mouse, the original cartoon mouse. Very nice. Thanks to all of our Vim's friends, always looking out for us. I was looking for a plush to give uh, Moe's today and I found this really old, at least it looks really old, panda plush. I mean, this thing, some of the fur's falling off, some of the stitching, looks like his arm has been repaired. Like he's, he's been through it, but I mean, this thing is at least 60s or 70s at, at, the, at the newest. <laughs> So I use Google Lens to uh, take a picture of this guy. And some of them that are popping up are pretty crazy. I mean, they're not exactly the same, but 135 bucks from that one, $65, $88, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $69, $
Oh, it makes the like 20 minutes I've yeah. been looking for this so worth it. Worth it. The whole time you were looking. <sighs> okay, did you look up these? I didn't look them up. I just think they're cool. Like pop out really you like you lift it and the oh, wheels fall. Oh, okay. I was I was trying to like I was twist like hitting it. it. <laughs> was like, I was oh, twisting. Oh, but this one. Oh. Oh my goodness. Pop yeah, out. we're gonna get them. We'll get them. About wooden roller skates. I didn't know how they worked, but now that I know, that makes so much more sense. Let's look them up. Oh, I'm so excited to find those boots. I've literally been looking forever. Oh, this cool, cool shoe. Santorini or Santoni? They just like felt felt nice, oh, but I can't find that one. 1970s. They're like seventy dollars. Are you serious? Okay, there's. It says zero listed, but obviously, it's Om Omnia. Omnia. There's no brand on it. Just pop out. Omnias. Yeah, O M N I A apostrophe C. So there are one, two, three, four, there are five listed, two sold, but that one, that pair sold for $145. No way. Uh, yeah. <gasps> awesome. Well, now that I've found the shoes, we can go. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> found two more things to sell Mickey Christmas plush, how cute to see, and a second banana costume. I already have a banana costume to wear and whatnot, but mine doesn't have these like cartoony black lines on it. So now maybe Haley can wear one banana costume and I can wear the other. Did you just find another, another banana? Another banana costume. No way. Oh, it was upside down the whole time. <laughs> Spirit of Halloween. I think I'm gonna grab these boots. I saw all these earlier when I was looking for the Tory Birch. Um, they feel nice, but I just realized they are Lauren Ralph Lauren. They've got some wear to it, but both of them are right here. And it's boot season, you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna grab those. The leather feels super nice. There's another pair of boots. These are the Kula uh, Burma by Ugg. One of their, one of the Ugg brands. Good condition. These are small. I wanna say they're kid size. Size four, so yeah, a kid size. But they're in really good condition. Again, it's boot season, so definitely a good time of year to pick them up. There's actually a lot of Ugg boots in here today. Like here's one right here, but they like, Really more for their own. Now that pair I just grabbed. Now we're gonna go through our inventory a little bit just to make sure we want everything, make sure there's nothing, no crazy flaws we missed. Anytime we don't take the time to do this, we always buy like five things that we just end up having to throw away because we just miss so many flaws. And I can't forget to get my picture frame back. Looking through our stuff, and I, I this is one of the first things I picked up today. I think it's real, but the zipper is broken. So I don't think it's worth it like the fix since it's a, such a small little carrying case. We'll pass on that. It's not a day with Josh and Haley at the bins without finding a beer Bradley. <laughs> That's my one today. It's got a stain on the inside. We'll try to clean that out. Pretty interesting, but I think I'm gonna put this back too because it looks like, yeah, that stuff's like super peely. That's so just garbage. Okay, should I get this? <laughs> it's a skull candy backpack inked but it's very dirty put in the wash i guess okay all the zippers it's kind of uh i didn't check actually oh it does okay and then this juni this juni though this <laughs> is dirty it's very dirty and it's definitely older oh, it's, it's got some like peeling right there oh it's got a really cool chain on it we get one nineteen forty. That's almost as much as we spent. Maybe a little bit more than we spent the other day. We got some heavy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I say it's almost as much as we spent the other day on all that, all that uh, party supplies. We got a lot of shoes too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, you too. We'll say we spent a lot of money. Well, we have like just that one pair of rolly shoes. Yeah, that should pay almost, for everything. Yeah. It's hard. There's what was it? Five listed and three sold. Yeah. So not a huge market, but if you got the right size, yeah. you just need that one person that needs them. So a pretty solid haul today. The Goodwill Bins, $119 for all that stuff. I love when we can get in there and find you know, 50, 60, or 70 individual items and just be able to sell one or two of them for enough money to pay for everything. So then we essentially have zero dollars into all that other stuff so we can get on a whatnot show give people really good deals we don't have to worry about you know getting top dollar for these items because we have essentially zero dollars into them so it's always a fun time 
at the Goodwill Bins. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, definitely hit the like button for us down below. Again, check out Sundays for dogs, dog food. Please don't let me eat dog food for no reason. I was fully committed to that ad. Hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Thanks again. You're the best. We will catch you on the next one.